Hello, today I'm going to make for you frankfurters and baked beans. So we're going to use some ketchup, some oil, two garlics, one small onion, scallion if you have it, one stock, and thyme tied to one finger, a small tomato, optional, a pinch of salt, um, a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of salt or one teaspoon of salt to taste it because I'm, I'm not so sure how salt this is. Half a scotch bonnet pepper. I'm going to add some dried basil and dried parsley. Alright guys, you know the drill. Prep your seasoning. Just to show off, this is a very sharp knife. It's new. It's not going to be sharp for long. It's so sharp, I got to be careful with it. This is a easy meal. This is gonna go under the category of Jamaican easy meals. This is a quick meal. I'm just gonna saute the onions for a couple seconds and then we're gonna stir fry the, the frankfurters. And you can also use sausage. Sausage, um, Vienna sausage, or chicken sausage, any kind of sausage you can use. It is dice these, dice the onion and your scallion. I don't have any scallion, so I'm not using any in this. And crush that. Kind of smash garlic. Or canned beans. It's about two two hundred and eighty gram. So you just use your opener to so start mashing the knife already. The way it's so sharp, it cut this with ease. You notice I cut it away from me, not with the knife. This is I do art, so I learned cut away from me. Alright, so we're going to put this aside until we're ready. Alright, let's talk a little. You know me, I'm going to give you a little bit of my knowledge. Frankfurters. A lot of people don't eat frankfurters and I myself don't eat it that much. I can't tell the last I eat this. But this, they say, is the, the um, rejected parts of the chicken or cow that they use to make sausage. But I'm going to tell you something. Those parts are good to eat. A lot of people don't know, but the organ in you, if you eat the organ in you, alright, if you eat liver, liver in you gets stronger. If you eat cow's art, pig's art, the art, your art gets stronger. So these are like arts and stuff, tripes and stuff. And it's kind of good. It's good food. It's better than GM foods. I'm going to use about three of these, two or three. I don't like these hot dogs in Jamaica because when I cut it you're gonna see it's red. It's very very red inside. Even after you boil it, 
you still have that red look. And this is a hot dog. Just rinse them off and cut them a quarter or half inch apart. It's like nearly a quarter. I was going to use two, but this looks like too small. Okay, now put to eat. Stew. A frying pot for stew and put the stove gauge on on six medium high. After about thirty seconds, add the oil. About a quarter cup or a cup of tape or a couple of tablespoons. You just want enough oil to saute the onions. Just remember that I used to I used to make these in a hot dog. I would boil a hot dog and then stir and like roll it fry on this. I'm gonna do it one day. After 30 seconds add the onions. allow that to, to fry for about, about a minute about 40 seconds you want to get a caramel like that you want a caramel after 30 seconds of caramel If you're a person like me that don't like raw onion, if you saute it like this, it would break down in the in this in the sausage and create a flavor. Then add some water. Let it spin. Let it cook. Put the thyme in. Put a piece of pepper in. Add your salt and black pepper if you're using it. You can use black pepper, like a quarter teaspoon. This has been cooking since I had the water. It's been cooking for about two minutes on on flame six, medium high. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. See, look, look at it. Grave the corner. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Now, after three minutes, add the beans. If I didn't add the water, I would pour some water in this and show it in. But I already had the water.
now would be a now would be a good time to put the stove's gauge on low. Add the herbs. And dry the parsley. Allow it to simmer for about two minutes. Just stove on low, and you can add just like two tablespoons of ketchup. So this took eight minutes in all. The ketchup is optional. Let's see it will finish. I want to taste it. This is awesome. Turn the stove off. You finish. Boy, the scent of this is is making my place smell really nice. My neighbors must be wondering what's smelling. And if you are if you are abroad, if you are abroad and you cook this, your neighbors are gonna wonder what's that? It smell really nice. I'm just saying. You know it's not a part of the video but public service. Things smell nice. Remove the time stick. So you don't splash when you serve it. I would recommend that you add um, one tomato dice and put it as it as you finish you just add it and just leave it I don't have any tomato that's why you're not gonna see any in this one but use it if you have it all right and I'm serving it with brown rice hot dog with brown rice from fritters with baked beans Jamaica's easy meal baked beans and from fritters you can also eat this with boiled hard food like yam or green banana or boiled dumplings okay let's taste this thing See, one time when I used to do this, I used to fry the fry this the frankfurters first because I always like to fry things crisps, and then it would just shrivel. So don't do that. It's 
nice. The front burgers are nice. See, I didn't buy front burgers in a long while. But these don't look like the red one. See what's red inside? So it's red inside. That's what I was saying. It's kind of red. The first burgers from the beginning. Children will love this. That's it. Enjoy.